Hello, my name is Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to do a fun little craft with um, some tissue paper and I'm going to make a fun Christmas dashboard for my happy planner, my Christmas happy planner. So stay tuned. All right, so today I'm going to be making a tissue paper dashboard for my Christmas Happy Planner. And it comes from, so when I did the unboxing of the Christmas Planner, which was this one here, I did not um, show this, I don't believe, which was the tissue paper that it came wrapped in. So there were two sheets of this tissue paper and I decided I'm going to make a dashboard because in here, in this packet that I got, um, as you can see, cards and gifts is kind of combined. So I want to make them, uh, I want to kind of separate them a little bit with a dashboard. So I have off to the side here, my scotch laminator that is heating up. And um, I have already pre-cut the tissue paper. Here's why, I'm gonna give you all my tips and tricks that I did to get it cut. Um, tissue paper is very fine, as you know. And so what I had initially done was I, I measured out, let me pull out my dashboard. So I used two dashboards to give me the result that I wanted, which was, this is the Christmas dashboard that came in the packet. So this has a left tab on it, so I needed to get a middle tab. So I pulled out one of my clear tabs from my business planner, so the fall planner. I haven't incorporated everything yet into this planner. So I pulled out one of these so that I could get that middle tab. And I went and used this, this is kind of staticky, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off to the side. I went ahead first and I tried cutting the tissue paper with my um, my cutting board. So it's a Frisker's cutting board. And it did okay in the beginning and then it ripped it halfway down. So then I tried a different technique. So first I tried starting in the middle going up and then I was going to go down, but that ripped it. So I flipped it around, gave it another shot and... I started just from the top and went down and that too kind of ripped it. So my next thing that I decided to do was to um, take, now I can't even pick this up, <laughs> was to take, I put the paper here and I used this one because again, it was a solid color. Let me show you. So if I had the tissue paper down here, I had the sol I used the solid color because it was easier to see. So see if I put this on there, it's kind of hard to see. So really this one was used only for cutting the tab out. And so I went ahead and did that. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm just keeping an eye on my, um, I have a Scotch laminator. I will link all products in the description box below. So I'm just keeping an eye on it, making sure when it's ready. And so I lined up my paper flush and I took this first. I made some accommodations for, you know, if you recall when you would laminate, you got to make sure you don't cut all the way to the edge of the paper. So you got to have like that little bit of a border. So I made sure I accounted for that and I measured it out and I used my uh, first two things my metal ruler. You should always have a metal ruler in your craft room. Um, it just works when a plastic one doesn't. And this was one of those cases. So I used it to hold in place my paper and to give it some edge. Because again, if you use a blade on a metal ruler, you're not going to harm it. A plastic ruler, you're going to tear that right up. So I just lined it up, used my cutter, I went all the way down and then I so now I now have my width then I flipped it around we're just gonna kind of go do like a, a mini mock through of this 
because again it's i like to be precise in what i'm doing so sometimes that doesn't always work if you're on camera so i flipped it around so now i'm on this side and i have to account for the height in the tab so what i did was i overlaid these two and again you can do this with it you can do it with a happy planner tab um i just had this one handy so i used this one and then what I did was I made sure, again, my paper was lined up to square and that my tabs were in place. I got the paper and it, as you can see, it's already moving, it's shifting. And that's because it's just so lightweight that it's, it's like paper, you know, it's thin paper flying through the air. Any kind of breeze is going to move your paper. So that's why I pre-cut it. So I go, I went ahead and I did this side, used my ruler and slicer again. The first thing I did was I gave my height for the tab. So I cut that down. Then I brought my ruler down a little bit more, which would be now the top part of the tab. And then I cut that. And now I still have to account for over here. So what I then did, it's kind of a multi-step process. <laughs> All right, so I am ready on the laminator whenever I'm finished. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. So again, these are just things that worked for me. I mean, you may find something that works for you, but I wanted to share what I did. So now that would leave me finished with this one. And now all I had to do, so now my paper is cut length, width, um, I have the tab cut all the way over and I've cut this piece off. So all I did again, it's, it's difficult to see this because it's a clear frosted tab, but then I just used the same metal ruler to give me the border for this side. I cut it there, used my slicer to also cut up on both sides, which gave me around the, the tab here. So that left me with a fully cut piece of tissue paper with a tab and then all I did was I used my scissors to kind of lightly round around the tab because on both of these you can see it's slightly rounded. So I went ahead and just gave myself a little bit of a rounded tab. Not perfect. Again, it's it's not meant to be perfect. It's not, you know, I only wanted to make sure the paper was cut as closely as possible because since I'm laminating, um, I'm not doing a five mil because a five mil dashboard will be a lot thicker and I'm really just looking for it to divide the sections within the cards and gifts. So I just pull out my regular Scotch thermal laminating paper pouches and we're going to laminate this. I'm going to have to pause slightly. Um, to laminate because my cord wasn't long enough to get it up on the desk. So I'm going to just kind of tuck these off to the side here. So now when I laminate, um, I am going to use the uh, arc punch. I will bring that up to punch. Um, if you have laminated or used acetate in the past the happy planner doesn't the happy planner punch doesn't always work so um without wanting to ruin it um i just went ahead and pulled out my arc punch so all i'm going to do now is this pouch is probably a little bigger than i needed but i'm going to get it in here as best as i can it doesn't even have to be level because uh, you can always cut that edge off. I always like to give myself more room than I think I need because if I cut something crooked, <laughs> I want to make sure that um, I can fix that problem. So if I put this, I can kind of get an idea. I'm just measuring my laminating sheet up to the lines on my Cricut mat. And then I'm just going to kind of get it as close as possible to some kind of um, level or even edge. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this back. 
And again, I'm using more than I need to, but I'm just using it to show. This is just to do this video for you today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in my laminator. Now, here's a tip when you're using um, tissue paper to make a dashboard. Try to find the pieces that are the um, least wrinkled, like this, you can see it a little bit, it's all wrinkled. If you happen to have a tissue paper that's not um, flat totally, but you don't have any flat spots, you can lightly iron, like on a very low setting. Put another piece of paper on top of it, like a copy paper, and you know, lightly kind of flatten it out a bit. Because if you take a piece of crinkled paper and laminate it, it's gonna be crinkled in the lamination. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to step off camera quickly and run this through my laminator twice. I'm going to first put it in front side, then I'm gonna flip it to the back side. I always do twice to make sure I get a good seal. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. So here is the laminated dashboard. Now, because tissue paper is so thin, you don't get the typical edge around here. Like you can see, I don't even know if you can see how small that edge is. That little bubble edge, that's the edge you don't wanna cut because once you cut that, you're cutting the seal over this. So it looks, now that I've put you know the lamination on it, it looks a lot brighter. It seems to have pulled the colors up a bit, so I like that part. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down. And to do that, since lamination is so easy um, to cut through, I'm just gonna use my cutting board. And I'm gonna kind of cut around. I need to make sure. Here's what I'm gonna do first. Because I'm using the arc punch, here's the thing. With an arc punch, there is um, a shorter stem on the mushroom. So it has a much, so it might look more like this one. See how short this stem is? So I need to account for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take just a little bit off at this moment. I'm gonna give a little bit here for now. And then I'm gonna cut the side that I'm punching and I'm gonna get it punched. And that's because I don't want to um, cut too much off and then not have not being able to punch it. Now on this side where the punch is going to be, um, if it goes into the tissue paper a bit, that's okay. So if I want to measure, so this here will place just, if I cut it here, it'll give me not enough on that side. So see how I have, although I am working off of the wrong size. Let me grab the right one. Again, I hope you can see this. So if I cut this laminating sheet to this size, I'm gonna have just ever so little on this side. So I probably want to, um, I'm gonna give it, I don't wanna cut too much off this side. Let me measure this side first. So let's say this is a decent amount. So in order to get this punched correctly, I need to punch about here. Again, I hope you can see that. You may not be able to because it's so clear. Let's roll with this because I think it's about as good as I'm gonna get it. When I create the dashboards, I'm always worried that I cut too much off, not enough, on and on and on. So. Um, just a word of note there. So on this here, I want to make sure I'm measuring for my, sorry, I was off camera there. I'm measuring my tab to make sure that I cut a decent amount off the bottom. So let's see. I'm going to cut it about here. So I'm cutting all edges, but this edge. So this would be the outer edge. I think I have this right. Luckily, this paper is so thin, it won't um, be terrible. Okay, so before I cut any more, let me pull over the um, 
excuse me, I got things falling all over my desk. <laughs> Let me pull over my arc punch. Okay, so here's the arc punch. A bit dusty here. I don't use it as often anymore, but I use it for the heavy duty stuff. When I need to punch, you know, hard card stock with lamination, I always pull this out and I measure for the stem because the Happy Planner punch just doesn't get through it. Now this should go through without a hitch and I am crossing my fingers, that is the case. <laughs> I would hate for this not to turn out right after all the time I spent to get it right. So if I measured everything correctly, I have measured to where I need to have my paper lie. So I have this little measuring um, foot over here, I guess you'd call it a foot. And I put it to where I believe it needs to be in order to get the punch in the right areas. So let's go ahead and let me see here. I'm trying to look at it while, here we go. Let's see if that'll work for a little bit. So right now, let me pull out my little Christmas. I'm just kind of checking again because I did not take into account the, um, I'm gonna push it up just a smidge and I'm gonna go with it. This is just a divider for um, a section. It's not a, you know, the, a top divider like these here. So let's go with it. Here we go, cross your fingers. Sorry if the camera jiggles. <laughs> Okay, so I do have a punch. I must need to sharpen this. There are a few pieces that I need to fix. Let me go ahead and close and lock this. Okay, so there are, there was a piece or two that didn't quite come off. So I'm gonna use my scissors to get that off. So remember when I said, you know, you don't wanna cut the, um, I still gotta get a piece off. I'm checking my other edges. There's a few. Let me grab my nipper scissors. That was a bit of an extended um, reach. I'll edit that out. But there is, let's see. I'm gonna check these quickly before we go forward. I wanna make sure I catch these now. So these little nipper tools are perfect for um, getting into those tight spaces such as this. Like it's right at the edge of the mushroom here. They have super sharp edges on the, the tips of them. So you can really kind of get in there and trim out that little piece. Um, let's see, am I done here? I'm just kind of going through this and then I'll give you my little note about the laminating, the laminating tip, let's say. I think this is gone. All right, so it appears I've gotten them all. I'm gonna leave those there. Okay, as I mentioned, when you're laminating, you have an edge that you don't wanna cut the bubble off of. And again, on this one, it's hard to tell. It's very, very small. But when you do something along the edge of a paper, um, you probably want to make sure, like if you're hole punching, like I punched right into the tissue paper. If it is something that you're concerned about, um, you know, pulling up, you know, if you're pulling it in and out all the time or, you know, if moisture got in there and it would break that seal even further or ruin the paper, then you should probably make sure you clear your disc edge before punching. So like when you put your paper in, just make sure your paper, let's say this was your paper, so this clears the punch edge. So that's the only tip I would offer for that is to make sure that you take into account those things before you, um, I guess, uh, cut it down or punch it. Sorry, not cut it down, but punch it. Okay. I think I've measured that good enough. Thank goodness it is a, a tissue paper, not like a full, um, 
what do I want to say, a full uh, cardstock, heavy cardstock, that would make it a little more difficult. So let's see to hide those those little errors. I think this is good. I'm just taking a smidge more off. All right, so let me do this side. So now comes the part of getting around the tab. So to get around the tab, all I'm doing, I'm just measuring this out at the, at the edge here. All right, so all I'm gonna do is put down my guide, whoops, and I'm gonna go as far over to the tab as I can. And that should give me enough room to just take my scissors and cut the, the edges off. So let's do that. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna cut this a little closer. And then I'm gonna cut the flap off. Precision cutting going on here. <laughs> Where is it? There we go. Um, every time I lift it up, it keeps refocusing. So I'm trying to minimize that. Let's see here. Let's go over just a smidge more. We'll flip it. Get this side. Now I am gonna take maybe just a smidge more off the top. I don't know, I'm gonna measure it to my existing, um, oops, my existing Christmas dashboard. So let's see. I think I'll leave the top as it is because it is definitely um, enough. Let's say, so let me get some of this out of the way. All I want to do now is I want to re-round the edges of the tab there. So this is the part that can get tricky. Okay, I think it's pretty good. So let me clear up my mess here. All right, where are we here? We have, our tab is all cut. Next, what I'm going to do, and you have the option if you're doing something like this. You can either do it before, after. If you're using a heavy card stock, if you have not punched already, you can run it through your laminator again if you feel you want to just get a little bit extra on there. Um, and then the last part is I'm setting that other dashboard aside. I have a sticker for the tab, so it won't stick out entirely at the top, but I know what this tab is for. Um, and I'm going to use, I marked my page. All right. So I always like to um, put something on the tab, anything, a label, either, you know, like a, a white colorful box, you, I could use that as well. There are some blue boxes in the Happy Planner Colorful Boxes sticker book. I can put that there and use my Dymo Labor Maker to do that. But I came across this sticker and I want to use this one. It says making a list and checking it twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it right in the book. And being left-handed, I need to shift this a little. <laughs> And I am just going to cut one of these down. And hopefully it works and I don't cut anything more. I think it's right. Let's hope because um, I wouldn't want to see anything beneath it. I think I did okay. All right. Let's pull this off. That is gonna look cute. All right. And I'm gonna get this out of the way as well, just to try and save some desktop space here. 
All right, let's move these aside and let's get this little guy on here. All right, so in it's square and I'm not worried that it's square. It should fit in here quite nicely. And I'm gonna put it as close to, the, so I have an option here. So the lamination goes just a little bit above the, the tab paper. And then on the back side is just plain, you know, it's just a faint color of the front. So if I were to put it right to the top, I could do that if I wanted. Um, but I think for the purpose of this, I'm gonna take it just to the top of the tissue paper so that I'm not, if I ever decide to change it, I can change it. And you know, so there's your option with that. If you wanna have your sticker on the inside, you wanna do that before you laminate. If you think you may wanna change it down the road to something else, use a sticker because you can always take that off and replace it. So let me go ahead and get these back in here. I'm not gonna worry about the Christmas one. Okay. So in here, I kind of miss a name page, but it's not a bad thing. So what I did was I marked the page and left this page blank. Take off my little page marker. And then here is the, the test. I'm putting it in and let's see how bad it looks. <laughs> Not too bad. Now it does hang over a little, but the nice thing is it's just the lamination part. So since this is a very thin paper, I could probably take this down just a little bit more and without it being any kind of problem. So if I were to do that, let me pull up my cutter cutting board again, and let me see how much leeway I have with this. Let's see. I need to make sure my paper is straight in here. Okay, so it wasn't, I did a little test and it really didn't take anything off. So I'm going to leave it as it is because as I said, if I pop it in, it it's on the notes, but it's really just the lamination that's on the notes. So I don't even see that. So I'm not gonna worry about it. So there it is. I have now, I use tissue paper. I can even add more stickers here if I wanted. Again, it's totally up to you. But I now have something that I can cut, you know, slice, not slice or cut, uh, separate. These sections within that Christmas planner pack, I could have made it as a separate tab altogether. I still have paper left tissue paper, I can make a bookmark, a page ma maker or mark. Um, I can make another dashboard for something different. I just love the fact that I was able to use something that was in there um, and I made something fun today. So today was a little craft day, kind of like a um, Saturday craft, uh, studio craft or, you know, something of that nature. But I'm rambling. I'm happy with how this turned out, so I'm kind of just chatting with you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I, I hope that you kind of look at your tissue paper differently now. <laughs> so maybe, you know, you get tissue paper for Christmas. Um, you can press it out because it'll be all wrinkled up. Press it out. Create a dashboard that you can use in your planner next Christmas. So there you have it. I hope I've inspired you to do something creative today and every day and that you create a beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.